Well, hello there, folks. So, we're here to bring you some, uh, kill confirmed on Village. Yeah, Village. With, uh, I got my ACR, and, um, this was, I, I don't believe my ACR is at a very high level. I kind of don't remember. All I know is, uh, this is my first, um, it was my first day of using the ACR, obviously. I'd, um, used it a little bit during the day, but wasn't that experienced with it. But, I mean, it's not that, wasn't that much different than the G36 for me. Um, and right now I'll tell you that I get the best score I've ever gotten in a game so far, even though I kind of be, kind of seem to be failing a little bit at the beginning. And, uh, my 360s that I do like right there annoy the hell out of me too, don't worry. Um, it's some weird tick thing that goes on with my finger. Like, I get the sudden urge in my head to do a 360 or to, like, make my joystick finger move left. I don't know, it's really, really weird and it's probably not healthy. But, uh, you know, what can you do? So, I go 53 uh, kills, 12 assists, 16 deaths on this map, and those 12 assists uh, kind of just suck, because a lot of them, you know, I could have gotten the kill on. Like, right there, assist, I just threw a uh, flash grenade, so I got the assist, but I know on a few of these, um, I could have gotten the kills. Like, damn, if I could have pushed it to 60 kills, that would be sweet. Now, of course, the beginning of the map is one of those, it's just one of those times where you're, like, failing hard and getting pissed, um, and you gotta do one of those things where you just, like, take a little breather. And you're like, Whoo. calm down and focus. Um, so as far as the ACR goes, um, I like, I like it. Um, probably just a little bit more than the G36. I don't know if that's because I got bored of the G36 because I used it uh, so much um, the first few prestiges, but for whatever reason it is, uh, I just kind of felt like I liked the ACR a little bit better. ACR 6.0, I think that's the name. Yeah, it is. Um, as you can see, I'm also running Assault Strike Package on it. Uh, if I were to ever go for Moab, I would probably run. I'd probably be uh, satisfied using this gun, um, mostly because I don't know. It's, I mean, it just seems like a, a, a competent kind of gun. Um, the G36 was just a little slow on the killing stuff side. Um, even though it's got kind of near the same stats, it's got a little bit less damage, but it's got a higher fire rate, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it just seemed like it was more of a toy gun to where this feels like an actual assault assault rifle. Um, now, I think coming up in a minute is where the, uh, the fighting starts to get a little bit interesting and my what the hell moments come in where I managed to get up to 53, 53 kills. Um, compared with, I don't know, I really honestly have not a clue in the world um, what I was about to compare the fucking gun with. Uh, cause I'm still trying, I'm, I'm watching this gameplay as I'm recording, and I don't see how the hell I managed to get 53 kills on it, but you know what, whatever. Um, as far as assault rifles, SMGs, everything I've used so far, I would have to say that the, I, comparing it with the Type 95, it, my favorite, my favorite gun overall would probably, um, uh, between the Type 95 and the ACR, I don't know, it just seems like I might pick the Type 95 because... Uh, the Type 95 feels like a sniper rifle mixed with an assault rifle mixed with the mobility of, well yeah, an assault rifle, I guess. I was going to almost say SMG, but I don't really have to say SMG because, I mean, assault rifle, you know, is generous enough. It just seems like a ridiculous, uh, uh and I tried to pull a little switch there. I can't believe I actually thought I was going to hit him with a iron sighted FMG or whatever the hell that kind of little pistol shit thing is called and there's that damn 360s again dude i actually the other day not even kidding you had uh did one of those jump did a 360 jumped like that and was shooting and i actually killed somebody i was like what the hell uh so got my little grenade payback on that freaking guy sitting back there and i gotta tell you i love uh uavs more than life itself i don't know what i would do with uavs now the thing that pisses me off sometimes randomly is freaking assassins just coming out of nowhere like people running assassin strike package on something they should not like not even a good setup like they're running around with i don't know it's just stupid ah it pisses me off because i'll be on a good killing spree or something will happen and i have a uav out and boom i get killed by an assassin but you know it's whatever uh so at this point i'm just happy to get my uh, uh attack helicopter although that death really did piss me off that final stand kill was just absolutely Ridiculous and predator missile it up. I thought I was gonna be able to get a double with that one But there was a roof somewhere and it just did not work out How the hell I wanted it to work out? So anyways, I went to the gym you guys would be surprised 
how spooky a gym is at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, by the way, how'd you like that triple kill? Tell me that triple kill wasn't sexy as hell. Um, and I don't even know just what happened there while I was blacked. I mean, just everything about that was just, like, weird out of my head. Um, anyways, so you guys would be absolutely surprised how... Ah, uh, gosh, what's the word? How freaky a gym is. Okay, so I was at the gym at, like, 2.30 the other night, right? And because my sleep schedule's all fucked up, um... Like, it's 3.30 right now while I'm recording this, but I woke up, like, 12 hours ago. Like, I'm literally waking up, like, in the middle of the day. And I really need to fix that when school starts back up. But you guys would absolutely, like... Okay, so I'm on the treadmills, right? And the treadmills are right by the open windows, and it's pitch black outside. My car is, like, the only car in the parking lot. And I'm running, and then I go to lift weights in, like, the middle of the gym. And then I see, like, a car drive by the front, and then it drives by the back. And I'm like, okay. And then I see it drive by the front, and I see it drive by the back. And I'm like, okay. And then I see it drive by the front and drive by the back. And guess what I said? Okay. And then just after that, every car that like drove by slowly was just like freaking me out. I had like hyper awareness of my situations. And it, I was just like, ah, this is weird. And I felt like people were like watching me and I was going to get like raped on my way back to that. I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. Um, as you guys also see, I have the silencer on this gun. Now it's got a little bit better damage if I'm not mistaken than the G36 and I already like the G36 with the silencer on it um, I'm not rocking steady aim or steady aim pro um, but it seems to have uh, great hip fire accuracy still at close to med range obviously I mean assault any gun you know at medium or closer to close range than medium I guess but closer range has decent hip fire accuracy you're not gonna get a lot of uh, bad stuff from hip fire at close range obviously um, but I got the silencer on it for some reason, um, which I can't really think of because I'm starting to think it's more and more useless to have um, the silencer on here on levels like this, uh, just because most of the time people are knowing where you are in groups because it's you, you're not really going up against one person. You can't really. It takes too long to stay on only the outskirts of this map, um, so I never really do that. And it it just seems like a, like I have less power in the gun. I could be using something like extended mags or whatnot. Um, but I never really got around to trying something besides the silencer, just because the silencer seemed to work for me, and I seemed to get kills with it just fine. Um, and you know, getting it to gold was a blast. But uh, definitely, the next time I end up using the ACR, I'll probably go red dot sight and extended mags or something else. I don't like the iron sights on all the guns. I mean, even the guns with great iron sights, the ACR iron sight, um, you know, is pretty semi-decent. Um, and a few other, you know, it's it's good. I just don't like iron sights. It's I feel like the red, it's so much easier to aim with a red dot sight, which, you know, obviously it is. Um, some people just don't find the need to have a red dot sight and can do fine with the iron, but I just absolutely hate the iron sights. So, next time I run, or next time I run a... Uh, ACR package or next time I run with the ACR what I will probably do is uh, just go um, with yeah definitely I don't uh, yeah extend the mags off the top of my head for sure and red dot um, definitely not red dot sight I don't like thermal or holographic the holographic see the reason I like red dot over holographic especially is because I feel like the holographic gets in my way when I zoom in like I can't see around because it's too bulky the red dot sight is nice and thin and it, it just good all around. So I'll pick red dot over uh, holographic sight uh, any day. As a matter of fact, I actually went to look, and I'll be talking about it more in another different video. But I actually looked at, I was looking at uh, guns to buy the other day. I looked at a few pistols and assault rifles, shotguns, just looking at a whole bunch of stuff. Um, into stuff that I'm looking into buying, and a lot of them came with halo sights or holographic sights, whatever. And um, uh, I was like. I, the first thing I thought of was Modern Warfare 3 and how much I don't like the holographic sights. Although I'm sure looking through them in real life is obviously much, obviously, obviously, obviously much different than looking through them um, in real life. So I'll definitely check those out. Now, unfortunately, uh, we did manage to somehow still lose this gameplay, even with me getting 53 kills and 12 assists. Sad face. I mean, it's just like, am I the only one on my team who's doing something? Um, anyways, this was kind of just like a rambling video. Didn't really have a topic to talk about. So thank you guys for listening. If you guys would do me a gigantic favor and give the video a thumbs up and or favorite, that would be greatly appreciated because this is the best gameplay I have on video so far after many days of me no-lifing. Um, still the best gameplay I have on video. 
Um, and then, I think that says 12 assist me. Is that 70? Yes, 12. Um, and constructive criticism would be great as far as stuff that you guys want me to talk about or how I should talk while doing this because I'm still getting into commentating over Call of Duty videos. So any constructive criticism is uh, greatly appreciated as well as your support through views and likes, faves, and all that kind of great stuff. Uh, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later for more videos.